Hi everyone! I'm going to try and not make this video 20 minutes long because it seems like it has been running that long when I've tried to film it previously. So let's just get to it. This video is about shipping and the different options that are available to you um, since that is what we spend most of our mornings doing as a Lula Open Salon. Um, first I want to show you the different um, packages to ship in because um, there is some confusion about what you can ship in what uh, and stuff like that. So, first and foremost, this is probably the most commonly used shipping package. This is the United States Postal Service flat rate envelope priority mail. This will get you pack your packages to your customers in anywhere from one to three days. It is very efficient. I have yet to have an issue with these. Um, do not get this confused with the other flat rate envelope. This one is the padded one. It is a bubble mailer padded. The other one is cheaper, but it is just cardboard. I do not have one to show you, um, but on the United States Postal Service website, I will be posting below all the links to the different um, packages that you can get to ship in. There is a difference. I do recommend just get the cardboard ones. See if you like them. They are free. All these shipping uh, items from the United States Postal Service are free, which is great. I mean, you have to use their service, but I mean, it's it's really not a bad deal at all. So, I'd suggest getting both, seeing which ones you like, see which ones you feel comfortable with, etc. So, like I said, this one is the padded one, probably the most commonly used one you'll see within LuLaRoe. We, I swear, we keep the United States Postal Service in business. This is going to fall. There it goes. Okay. Next, sticking with the United States Postal Service. This is the medium flat rate box. This is how they come. You just got to put them together. Easy speezy. This is my most commonly used size when it comes to boxes. Um, there is a small box. It is the same price as the non-padded flat rate envelope. Um, but I don't see the point in it. I don't know. I guess if you just prefer a box, that might be nice. Um, certainly something to consider. I know I accidentally ordered them one time, but I didn't use them. <laughs> I was like, whoops, wrong, wrong. So the medium one is nice. This can fit a lot of stuff. Um, this is for those overachiever customers that just want everything. You always feel like a certain sense of accomplishment when you're shipping one of these guys out. So this is the medium one. Um, as you'll see later, it does cost uh, more, a lot more to ship, but like I said, um, you can't always fit everything in the envelope. So those are your priority mail options. Lastly, four items, 13 ounces or less, so we're talking one shirt, one skirt mostly, probably not maxi, um, one pair of leggings, stuff like that. I use a poly mailer. Literally, just like this guy. Um, really, people say they're not sturdy. I don't know where they're getting that from. I am having a hard time pulling that. I mean, I don't know. Tell me what you think. This took me a while to... Um, I didn't use these for a while until in my business when I realized it was really um, missing out on shipping. I was charging a flat rate of $5.00. But I was paying, you know, more each time to ship. And I was like, this just isn't going to fly for me. I, you should never be losing money on shipping, you know. So I got these. I love them. I got ones that are cute. So, you know, it kind of, if people are weird about the first class shipping, if you get them a cute envelope, they may not even notice. They might be happy. Um, so these are the ones I normally use. I do get themed ones. I got a... Uh, one with like Christmas ornaments and stuff for Christmas. And these are the ones, whoops, these are the ones I have for Valentine's Day. That I'm going to be shipping my Valentine's leggings in, so. I like it in that regard. I can literally pick, there's a few options out there in the world, you know. And I can pick which of the ones I want for this season. It's really fun to me. If you get these, if you decide to ship um, first class with the poly mailers, like I said, 13 ounces or less, I would recommend getting a scale. Um, you don't need one because you can have an awesome friend like me that you can just ask how much a pair of white leggings weighs and I will tell you. Uh, tall and curvy, seven ounces, one size, six ounces, you know, whatever. But 
uh, just get a scale. I mean, they're really cheap off of Amazon. Not a problem. So, those are the main shipping packages. Lastly, in my opinion, a must-have, but you don't need them. You certainly don't need them if you're trying to be really minimal from the get-go. You do not need these. These are the pre-sticky shipping labels. Um, me, I cannot live without these. I just love them so much. They make it so easy. Um, I just have some printed out here earlier. Just pull them off and stick them on, and they're done. I mean, it's just wonderful. When I run out, I do the old-fashioned way. I just print it on a regular piece of paper, cut it out, and tape it on. I mean, you can do that too. For my time's sake, though, having a little girl that's not going to tolerate me cutting out shipping labels all morning, the stickies are the way to go. Okay, so now that we've gone over all that, we can look at the actual websites. Hi, uh, here I am. Okay that we will be using for shipping. So, first and foremost, United States Postal Service. Do -do 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 -do. Okay, beautiful website, love it. You will need a login for this, no problem. Uh, I'm already logged in. Uh, mail and ship, print and ship. Everything is right up front here, that's why I love about this website. Very easy to use. Here we are, create labels. Um, before I delve into this too much, just so you know, from this page, you can look at your shipping history on this page. If you ever need to go back, get a tracking number, anything like that. As you can see, I do not really use this much, <laughs> but when I did use this, this was useful. So, back to create label. Really simple. So I'm just going to pretend I'm shipping something myself. Um... What's really simple as well, let me show you quickly. Just go to mylularo.com into Audrey. Log in. And you are looking at your invoices. Um, you click on one, literally right here, is someone's address. You can copy and paste, not a problem, right into here. So super quick, so super easy. Here is their email, copy and paste. You can notify the recipient of shipping. They love that. Every People love shipping or shipping notifications, and I don't blame them because I love it too. And then you can start the mailman. <laughs> so just so you know, that is so easy to copy and paste. You'll never mess up someone's address, nothing like that. Shipping date, Wednesday, that's today. Um, that's, and leave it. I mean, you don't have to touch that. Flat rate, this is the website you will use to ship flat rate, so that is your priority mail flat rate envelopes, that is the box I showed you, that is not the first class poly mailers that I showed you, this is strictly flat rate, or yeah, flat rate priority mail. Um, the padded envelopes, I know they have $50, so I just write $50, i am not sure what the boxes have for insurance, but uh, the padded envelopes will be what you mainly use, I'm sure, so $50, and then here we go, we're going to view available services and prices. Whoops, I have not entered a deliverable address, and that's because I spelled my road wrong. Try again. Okie dokie, here we go. So, it's going to show me all the options available to me. This priority mail flat rate envelope is the cardboard one I was speaking of. You'll see, here is the price for that, here is the price for the padded envelope. There is a price difference, this is a little cheaper. Like I said, all up to you. Links down below. You decide which one you would like to use. Here's the small flat rate box I was speaking of. Here's the medium flat rate box that I showed you. As you can see, it is more to ship, but you can fit a lot of stuff in there. Ha. So, you're just going to do the padded uh, flat rate envelope. If you have more labels to add, you can just add to cart and start your label. And here we are. You just keep adding, adding. You can go through all of your invoices and see who you have to ship. Um, bada bing, bada boom. Add them in when you're done. You go to your shipping cart. Now these are different. I had these uh, earlier trying to play around with this and film this video, but this is what this will look like. Make sure you know everything's correct. I'm sure it is. It's very good at catching mistyping as you can see when it kicked back my address. 
So then we'll go to billing. Now I'm not going to go any further in here because it will charge me for these and none of these are actually being shipped. So really you just have to certify that you're using their stuff, you know, blah, 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 no big deal. And pay, you can pay using PayPal. That's what I usually did when I use this. Super, super simple. Pay and print. Next page. Literally just, it'll just pop up asking you to print and you put your little pretty sticky labels in there. No problem. Perfect. Okay, so that is United States Postal Service. Next is a little trick I have found for first class. Again, first class is 13 ounces or less. This is through PayPal. You have to have a PayPal account. So I keep this link on my desktop. Of course, I will have it below for you. Um, it'll ask you to log in. And here we have create a shipping label. Yay! So since this already has my information, here we are. Again, type in the information, super, super easy. There is their email. All right, now, that says you can use priority mail in here. I don't know about that. I don't know, I've never used it. I have not dabbled in it. I would recommend keeping them separate um, if you're going to use these options. But if you don't like that, I will show you a third option, which is what I personally use that I like much more that keeps them all together but like I said I would try and just use this for first class unless you can understand the priority thing you go girl so first class parcel mail cannot exceed 13 ounces you will have a package slash thick envelope and you just type in your ounces here so that's you know hair tall and curvy leggings easy easy speezy done 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 continue I'm not going to hit that because I think it'll charge me and I'm not going to deal with that. But again, it's the same thing. And then it'll pop up, it'll print. So super easy. This one you do have to do one at a time. So if you're trying to utilize both sides of your paper, you just have to flip it. Not a big deal at all. So that is what we've used for first class. Now, this is what I personally choose to use. Stamps.com. This is a paid service. Um, I did the 30 day free trial to see if I liked it and I'll be honest with you, I just forgot to cancel it <laughs> the first month and I was like fine, I'll use it another month but honestly I'm never going to go back. I find stamps.com to be very easy to use, um, very helpful every time I've ever contacted customer service, great, 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 love it. So what's different about stamps.com is you do not pay out of your bank account per transaction, you have to keep a balance right here buy more shipping so basically if you can afford it I would just recommend buying 100 bucks at a time because you can easily blow through $100 in shipping in a day no doubt um, so it's nice to keep a balance in there as you can see that is not the case for me right now but tomorrow I will have to add to that so just to show you what stamps.com is a little bit about print postage I just love how super super easy this is so say we have um, an invoice up here we gotta ship to this customer stamps.com here we go alright I am literally just going to copy her name and see it already has it saved because I've actually already printed her shipping label I love that so super super easy like literally it takes me two seconds to type do this shipping label um, but if you didn't have her saved here you go there's her address uh, big boom it reorganizes right there you can see I love 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 that I don't even have to take the time to backspace um, let's copy the email address let's give her some tracking oh it already knew it because she was in here but you get the idea now you can do flat rate and first class in stamps.com I just love 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 it so say I'm gonna do first class I'm doing one size leggings they are six ounces select a service first class mail package the thick envelope, boom, $2.60. And if you saw, that says that'll be to her in two days. Like, you can't, that's great. You can't beat that. Um, on the other hand, say you have a few more things to ship. Um, we're going to ship priority mail. You're not doing any of this. You're doing the padded flat rate envelope. There is your regular flat rate envelope. There is your medium flat rate box. And another thing I would like to point out is if you see the prices here, the United States Postal Service just did a price increase um, 
and on their actual website it was $6.80 to ship a padded flat rate envelope. But with stamps.com it is only $6.10. Yes, you do pay $16 a month to use their service, but if you do the math on it, plus the convenience that I feel like this gives you, to me it is worth it. Whether it's worth it or not to you, I don't know. That's why you do the 30 days. Try it out. Any other, any service like this, um, I know there are others that do stuff like this. You know, try them out for their 30 days. See if you like them. I will show you though why I really like Stamps.com, and it is kind of small, kind of a small thing in general, but I like it. It really, it's kind of what sold me on it. So, in my history, I can search print history. I can literally see what I have done. Oh, I mean, back to forever. I mean, I can change this. It's just showing me like a week, but um, I can see that at the drop of a hat. How do I get that off? Okay. At the drop of a hat, I can see what has been delivered, what is still in transit. Like, okay, I'm wondering what these guys are doing. What I just printed and hasn't even shipped yet. Say a customer contacts you, they didn't receive the email notification. Sure, no problem. Go in here, literally just click on their shipping uh, tracking number, copy, paste it in the chat. So, so easy, so, so quick. Say someone messages you, hey, still haven't got my item, you know, do you have any idea where it is? And you're like, oh crap, did I ship it? Did I forget? <laughs> no problem. Go in, type in their name. I'll just type in one that I already see and go. And it pops up, delivered, or give her the tracking number. So easy, so, so easy in my opinion. So, I hope I've given you a general overview of the free ways to ship, per se, and the one that costs as well. There is also the option, I don't want to discount this, of just packaging it up and handwriting each address on yourself. Consultants still do that. It's honestly kind of a nice touch to see that they have taken the time to handwrite. If that is something you want to do, that is awesome. I I prefer to be about um, efficiency, per se. Um, I like to get things out quickly. So I choose to literally just crank it out in the morning, print, 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 you know, and go. I schedule a pickup. Oh, that is one thing I cannot forget to show you. My gosh, hold on, hold on. Let's go back to... USPS. Whether you ship from USPS.com, PayPal, whatever. Um, well, obviously you have to, have to be shipping through the Postal Service and not like UPS, but I don't think anyone would really do that. You can schedule a pickup and I'm telling you right now, it'll save your life. I was literally lugging a six-month-old child into the post office every day and I don't know why because the girl was like, you know you can schedule a pickup, right? Yeah. Oh, life changer. They literally just gave me bins to keep outside of my house so they can just pick up the bin and go. So, like I said, you don't even have to be using this site directly. As long as you're shipping via the postal service, you can use this. So we're on USPS.com. I also have an app on my phone that I can do this through. Mail and ship. Schedule a pickup. I would do this for tomorrow. Um, I have two packages going out. But actually, the girl... No, I have three. You know what? So I will schedule a pickup. Sometimes she just lets me put them in my mailbox. But I have more than I thought going out. So, before we logged in, it's going to show all our where should we pick it up. All of my information. Check availability. Now, depending on where you live, maybe this is not always available. I'm not sure how it wouldn't be. Um, but I do live in the country, small town, so it's always available. It is always at the back door. It is during my regular mail delivery. It obviously does not cost any money. And she will be picking them up on the 21st. This is so super easy. Now, my mail lady is not me. Sometimes I just have to guess of what I will have because I really don't know until the next day. Um, today I know, so I'm going to put three first class packages. Um, but like I said, um, you just guess. I don't know. Gauge your mail person. <laughs> I guess the weight, three packages, three pounds, sure, beautiful, whatever. All right, you understand the terms and conditions and schedule a pickup. So super easy. Um, they will literally come tomorrow and just pick them up and take them. I don't have to do a darn thing, and it is great. So, okay, this turned out to be 20 minutes, even though I didn't want it to. Oh, well, 
I hope it answered some questions. Please feel free to comment below with any questions. Um, and of course, ask your sponsor. They've been there. They figured out the shipping situation. So they'll be able to help you as well. Okay, thanks. Bye.